hello everyone. Happy Saturday. It's a new week of vlogs and Mike just got back with some goodies. So Mike came back from Mazzaro's. So this is what we ordered ahead of time. We got a sandwich tray for tonight for everybody. And this is what he picked up extra. So he's about to show me, let's see. Okay, so we brought home apricot cookies. They didn't have the raspberry ones this time, so we got apricot. He brought an amaretto ball. Looks amazing, it's huge. Not quite a baseball, but pretty close to it. Of course. Had to get fresh rainbow cookies. And then he also got an assorted Italian cookies since we're having friends over tonight. And Jordan can't have the rainbow cookies because of nuts. So, yeah. Those are the sweets. All right, we've got friends. We are friends. You are friends. Oh, good, we're friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are the friends. <laughs> you know, just in case you were worried, we, were we are still friends. friends. It's been a while since we've been on the vlogs. Maybe they were worried. We are still friends. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan and I had our second shots this past week. <laughs> Brittany's. When we were drinking. When we were shots. Two shots, please. <laughs> <laughs> Already, we just got here. You don't even know. <laughs> Brittany's had her too. Kyle has his second on Tuesday. Oh, this Tuesday? Yeah, vaccine. I think shots. so. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So, yay, vaccine. And then my cat is one shot like a while ago. So, yeah, this is our we got vaccinated party. <laughs> nice. So, we've got sandwiches and then all of the things that Mike got today. I'm just going to let you read everything. See how many mm -hmm. items he came home with. So, yep, it's gonna be good. Oh, oh my God. I'm dying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was such a good creation. These guys are getting Wow. Drunk. Don't need to. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. It was a good pairing, though. It was a good pairing. No. See ya. <laughs> oh my god, this is the shiny thing that they actually oh, need to man. Use. Yep. Amazing. Amazing. It's the rematch. <laughs> but look at all those chickens. <laughs> That was a really close game. Really close game there. I like the murder knife of creativity. Wow. Wow. Again, you counter mine perfectly. How did you do that? Hey, but where's Black Tide go? I'm dying. Okay, it is late Saturday night. The friends have all left. Didn't even vlog Miu, she was here. I don't think I vlogged her, maybe I did. But we had a good time with the friends. We played a lot of Jackbox games as you saw clips of. I'm about to take the dogs out and go to bed because tomorrow I drive to Arcadia. So I'll see you guys then. So hello everyone from good old Arcadia, Florida. I have just made it into Arcadia, heading to my parents' house. Gonna hang out with them for a bit, pick up my wedding dress. I'm sure there's gonna be a yard tour, so everyone who likes my mom's flowers, just wait, I'm sure it's going to come. So that is how I am spending my day, visiting my parents and grabbing my wedding dress to head back to Riverview with the wedding dress for my first fitting on tour. Well, it's a nice breezy day here in Arcadia, but look at this one, look at how many flowers. So many flowers on that orchid. And I got little Little baby orange ones over here. Super cute. Yeah. Cute little red dots. So cute. 
They're so low. Well, look at that. Actually weighing the poor plants. <laughs> the desert roses have taken off. Well, yep, that's cool. So many flowers for one little plant. <laughs> it's so heavy. Oh, it can't even hurt me. So hard. It's so heavy. I can't hold it. <laughs> Got new tomatoes. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. Yeah, I like the deep purple. Very pretty. We're making our way back to the orchids. Just look how big this oak tree is. Look at the base of that oak tree. Huge. These are all the same as our last trip. But that one's got more flowers. Yeah. More little that yellow means. flowers. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's, toasty. it's toasty today. It's, it's toasty. Not so bad in the shade, but it's pretty, pretty toasty. Yeah. Now yeah. So not too much, but look at these. I just can't get over. These caladiums. Yeah. <laughs> That's how big they are. <laughs> They're monsters. I'll have to show you when I get home. Yeah. I have caladiums. So mine are coming up. So I will show you my little tour when I get home of the ones I have so far. But they're not anywhere this big. <laughs> Those are massive. Okay, it's Sunday night. I am back in Riverview. Made it home. Played outside with the dogs for a while. Now I'm gonna make some dinner, which I think means I'm having some hot dogs. <laughs> just one of those nights. Don't feel like cooking. I got home, it's almost 7 p.m. I think I'm just gonna heat up some hot dogs and have some hot dogs for dinner. Maybe in a tortilla? I don't know. Real fancy. Hello everyone, it is Monday. I don't think I've vlogged anything for the regular vlog yet. Sorry. It's Monday evening. I got up, I worked out, I had lunch. I went to Publix, I got groceries. We're doing some planning right now for our eventual wedding reception. The dogs are losing their minds. That's where I'm at right now. So getting ready to do some gaming with Brittany and Jordan, some guardian games. And I was gonna make dinner, but now it's late. So we're probably just gonna have something thrown together. And that's a Monday. Tonight's fancy dinner, a chicken taco wrap and some mozzarella salad from Saturday. That's what's for dinner tonight. everyone happy Tuesday I have made it to st. Pete the wedding dress is right there we're gonna go meet with the seamstress and see what magic she can work on this because I can tell you it doesn't fit <laughs> I tried it on I have like a whole emotional moment in the thin Lizzie footage that you'll see on Friday but I tried it on we're close but we're not there so we'll see what magic she can work I'm gonna go find out and I'll give you guys a report when I get back to the car, so see you in a bit. Okay, so the appointment is over. First of all, love the seamstress I chose. She's fantastic. I called some of the St. Pete bridal stores that I went to dress shopping in July of 2019 with Brittany and got recommendations from them because I was like, hey, I moved from Texas. I don't have anyone to alter my dress. Who should I go to? And the one shop gave me three different names and the one I'm going to is one of them and she's fantastic. She owns her little shop here. So when you go in, it's just you and her. She has everything just set up. All she does is wedding stuff. So she's got it all set up for wedding dresses. And then it was great. We had about 45 minutes together. Um, I'm a little disappointed, not in her, <laughs> in myself. And I kind of went through a whole thing about this in Thin Lizzie, just kind of being open and honest about it. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing again, but 
now I know what's going to happen. Since you're seeing this before then, Lizzie, the short version is that I do not fit in the dress anymore despite all the work I put in. I still did not make it. Um, and so I knew the dress was gonna have to get altered in some way in order to make it fit. And basically my only option is switching the back into a corset, which I'm not super happy about. I really loved the dress as it was and I can say this without revealing anything because you'll see pictures of what it looked like originally someday maybe. Maybe I won't ever show them and you'll never know the difference <laughs> aside from me telling you right now. But it has a zipper to a certain point and then it had buttons up the back. And the buttons are gonna have to get taken away and it's gonna be a corset. So corset's not generally my style so I'm not like super thrilled about that but it's the only way to make the dress work. So there's a lady walking right toward me, 100% staring at me, talking to my camera in my car. And the rest of the dress looks fantastic on me. It just, it's buttons and there's no give in the fabric. So it's not gonna happen in a few weeks. So I had to give the go ahead, but the buttons are gonna go, become a corset. The good news is that if I continue to lose weight this month, it will still fit because it's a corset. You can pull it as tight as you want. Second good news is that if I don't lose any more weight, it'll still work because she's got my current measurements. And it is what it is. 2020 happened. I can't beat myself up too much. Um, I was telling her the same thing. She was like, everyone gained weight in 2020. I gained weight in 2020. Everyone gained weight in 2020. We were all stressed like crazy. Don't beat yourself up. We're going to make it look beautiful. I'm going to make it match your dress. I think I'll feel better once I see it. I'm coming back in two weeks and she will have the corset in. So in two weeks, I'll get to see it with that. And then I think I will feel better once it's actually like cinched up and I see the final picture. She showed me some pictures of once she's done and she assured me that she will make it fit for my dress. She will make it look like my dress. If I hate the back, I just won't ever show pictures of the back. I'll only show pictures of the front because <laughs> the front looks beautiful. The front still looks fantastic. Um, and when she pulled it tight as if it was closed, it still looks great. So I know I'm still gonna look good in the dress. I just don't know how I'm gonna feel about the corset. It is what it is. I'll be mad at myself for a while, but I'll get over it, especially once I see it, I think. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get myself Starbucks. It's not gonna be keto Starbucks because I'm having a moment. I haven't had Starbucks in forever. I haven't eaten anything. It's noon. I just want to console myself with some Starbucks and that's way better than going on like a fast food trip or anything like that. I'm gonna get myself an iced coffee. I'm not even gonna go wild. I'm not getting a latte or a frappuccino. I'm just gonna get an iced coffee with some actual sugar in it and move on with my day. So I messaged Mike, obviously I can't tell him so much stuff because I don't want him to know what the dress looks like because I am keeping that a secret from him. So I messaged Mike to tell him the result because he knew I was pretty upset before I went in and I told him that it had buttons and now it's gonna be a corset because I don't want to give away too much of the dress but I wanted to at least tell him that. And he wrote back and he was like, I hate buttons anyway. Boo buttons, buttons are the worst. I love corsets, <laughs> so cute. So yeah, that's when you know you married a good one. And I just have to realize that the only people that will probably miss the buttons will be me and Brittany and my mom who have all seen the dress as it was and I'm gonna roll with it and hopefully I look fantastic in it with the corset. All right, going to get my Starbucks. I'll see you guys back at the house. Okay, change of plans. The Starbucks that was near me, the line was all the way out to the street. There was like 10 cars in line and if I pulled in, I would have been blocking traffic. So I skipped, <laughs> skipped Starbucks and went to Dunkin' instead and I am trying the Butter Pecan Signature Latte. It has sprinkles on it, there's caramel, butter pecan let's give it a go and see what I think my cheat for today all right let's see if it's any good Ooh, big fan of that yes Duncan yes yeah, so normally I would get it as an iced coffee I wanted to try it as the signature latte today because why not mm, man I feel like Brittany would like that one because it's actually a lot like the chestnut praline. I'm gonna tell her she needs to try it. Very, very, very good. So while I was already out and about, I decided to stop at Kohl's and their dressing rooms were actually open. So here's a short little montage of me trying things on.
So I found some cute stuff. I keep teasing that we have fun stuff coming up and I wanted some new outfits for fun stuff coming up. This Kohl's is actually really nice, this Kohl's and Brandon. So I will definitely be back right before we go on the wedding festivities because it's a really nice Kohl's. So happy with that. Found some good stuff. Found a new bathing suit top. Found some new shorts and a couple tops. I love Stitch Fix, I really do. But the cheap person in me just loves Kohl's and Target because I can get so many items for the same amount of money that I would get like three or four items from Stitch Fix. Now I love my Stitch Fix stuff. It lasts, it's good quality, and some of those shirts are my absolute favorite shirts, but this shirt's from Kohl's, my shorts are from Target. <laughs> I had fun. My first time getting to shop and try things on in a dressing room in over a year, and I love doing that, so that was really fun. Now I'm stopping by Target to get a box for Mike uh, just a box that's all I'm getting at Target I was just at Target recently so I'm literally just running in to get a box me telling myself I'm just going in to get a box <laughs> and then I'm heading home get some work done for the day and yeah it was a fun adventure I'm feeling a little better about being out and about now that I'm almost fully vaccinated I've got a week from today I will be fully vaccinated but I'm feeling better about being out and about having my mask on. A little less worried about it, I'm just worried about everyone else that's not vaccinated, so that's just who I am. I care about people and I care about protecting people and that's all I'm gonna say on it. So, I'm gonna go to Target and head home. All right, tonight's dinner. I got a Zaxby's salad. Mike got wings and things and he also got the spicy chicken sandwich. Looks delicious. Not cheat day, somewhat cheat day. <laughs> Yum. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday and we have concrete. And very sad boys because they want to go OUT, but they can't because the workers are still out there. I know. I'm sorry, buddy. You gotta hold it a little longer, okay? Gotta hold it a little longer. So, hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I have just been doing some makeup testing for the wedding. So this might be what I'm doing. I think I really like this lipstick. It looks very natural. And this might be the eye that I do. I'm debating between two different eyes. So I'm testing them back and forth, deciding what I wanna do. Obviously I'm going very natural for my makeup. This will not be the foundation. This is my old Urban Decay foundation, not my favorite but the one I was using in between foundations because the foundation I've been using, I love the NARS Sheer Glow. I just need a little bit of a color match tweak and Brittany and I are planning to have a mall day, I think next week since I will be fully vaxxed at that point and she's fully vaxxed. We're gonna do a mall day and get some makeup and get some stuff for the wedding. And so I am planning to do a color match with the NARS when we go to Sephora. And I know you can't test the products there, but they can give you a little sample pods and so I have three different colors of the NARS Sheer Glow that I'm going to try because this is my color match. The Urban Decay pretty much perfectly matches me on color. I just don't like the foundation so I'm hoping I can get a Sheer Glow that's this color. So anyway that's why I was using this to have a color match for my makeup test but getting there getting there. That's what I was doing. I was just doing a little makeup test. Brittany and I are going to do like a hair and makeup test that same day because again, we're doing our own hair and makeup, but I'm also getting my hair cut before the wedding. So it's gonna be a little different. Uh, I decided I am going to cut some of it off. I just don't know how much yet, but these ends are so dry and not happy. I, have, I haven't cut my hair since August. So I am gonna get a haircut before the wedding. I'm just having the internal debate of, do I do just a couple inches to take off the dead pieces or do I chop it again? What I'm debating right now. Looking forward to that next week with Brittany, but I think I like the makeup. Just have to decide between which eyes I'm doing. This eye look is actually from the Conspiracy Palette. I know Shane Dawson is a very polarizing figure these days and he's been canceled, but I really do love the palette. So this is from the Conspiracy Palette. Look is actually from the Madison Beer Palette that I picked up just after Christmas. So I like both of them, but I think I like this lipstick. A little bit of color for the pictures, but very natural looking, very natural feeling, which is the more important part. So I feel like I still look like myself 
and that is my goal. I wanna look like a little bit of amped up version of myself so I look good in pictures, but I am proud of myself. I think I've done a pretty good job. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what I've been doing. Now I need to do actual work. They've poured concrete, so the concrete's curing. It'll be curing for a few weeks now, and that's progress. Also, I just remembered in Thin Lizzy today, I promised that I would tell a story about Mike and the buttons. So I already told you yesterday that he's on a campaign against buttons now so that I won't feel bad about the dress. So he's like, boo buttons, buttons are the worst. Who likes buttons anyway? So yesterday he was digging through a box full of cords and he found something and all of a sudden he just throws it at me. And I was like, what was that? It was a button. So he threw the button at me and then uh, we both said a word that I cannot say on YouTube but um, F buttons <laughs> was what we said. So that is our mantra now, F buttons. And he threw one at me. Try to get away from him as quickly as possible. So we don't like buttons in this house anymore. We are no button household. <laughs> and now I'm going to do some actual work. Yay. Well, it's Cinco de Mayo, so I'm making keto taco pie for dinner tonight. Got my vegetables all chopped up. They're gonna saute. We're gonna turn this into a casserole. It's gonna be good, I think. So here we go. So in here we've got eggs, cheese, and almond flour. That's gonna be our crust. And in here we've got essentially our taco meat with peppers, jalapenos, onions, taco seasoning, and ground beef. If you're doing keto, you have to be careful about your taco seasoning because most taco seasoning packets have carbs and actually quite a bit of carbs because it uses cornstarch. You can either make one yourself or you can find one that has no carbs. Basically, you need to find one that doesn't have cornstarch in it. So, that's my tip. There it is out of the oven. Smells delicious. Okay, so there's a little cross section. Hard to see. It looks really good. I'm excited for it. So I've got olives, lettuce, salsa, and sour cream to put on top of it. Should be good. My life just flashed before my eyes. Took the dogs out for their evening trip outside. First of all, found the Cuban tree frog. He's hanging out in the windows outside the kitchen because we leave this kitchen light on, so of course there's bugs. We have a salamander who lives on the porch. See him all the time. But apparently, the Cuban tree frog has moved to these windows. So I saw him, I'm like, ooh! And then was taking Colby out in the yard and Colby's being really weird ever since the concrete came in. He was fine on the leash when it was a pit, but now that the concrete's in, I don't know if he's afraid of it. Being a pain in the butt about walking down the leash by it. And so we were in a stalemate where he wouldn't move at all. And so I was just standing there with him. I had my flashlight and I look over and I, I'm looking at something I'm like, is that a bug? And then I realize it's two eyeballs and it's a frog. So thankfully that one was a Florida natural normal frog, just a brown Florida frog. And he was just kind of frozen so that Colby wouldn't see him. And so I, I had to grab Colby and convince Colby to move away from the frog while I had a panic attack. So then Mike got to take out Ash. <laughs> so two frogs in one trip out. I think I'm done with the night walks. I think, I think dad's gonna get to do the night walks now. Cause, mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. So hello everyone, happy Thursday. It's already the end of the day. Had a busy morning, got some work done in the afternoon been packing for my beach day tomorrow because I'm going down to Inglewood to hang out with Sarah and her family. They've rented a beach house for the week. We're all vaccinated. We're gonna go enjoy some beach time together. So I've got my bag all packed for that. I've a lot of to-dos off my list today. So now it's time to make dinner. I'm going to make keto Mongolian beef. Let's see if it's any good. Well, there it is. We'll see if it tastes as good as it smells. There is Mike's, his is over rice. In mine, I gave myself a little spoonful of rice, like literally a spoonful. Otherwise, it's just uh, the meat and sauce. Hopefully it's good. That's the first one in a while that I would not recommend. <laughs> I'm gonna make it again, tweaking some ingredients, but it was so sweet, sickly sweet. I went back and read the recipe again to make sure I hadn't messed it up, but definitely way, way too much of the monk fruit sweetener. I went back and read the comments after Mike and I were talking about it and almost everyone who left a comment who had made it was like, it was great except for I would use a lot less sugar. So, lesson learned. Next time if I make it again, I'm gonna use a little bit of sugar and add as I need 
because it was so sweet I couldn't even finish it. Mike at least had the rice to break it up a little bit but it was just way too sweet for both of us and I like sweet things. I like my Mongolian a little sweet but that was sweeter than anything you would ever get at Panda Express or any of those places. Just whew, sugar overload. So <laughs> I would not recommend that one. I will not put the recipe down below for that one. Good morning everyone, happy Friday. I am on my way to the beach. All right, so my windshield is a disaster because it's love bug season in Florida. So I apologize for the very terrible view out my windshield. I cannot help it, it's love bug season. The love bugs are insane, but I wanna show you the water and I'm sorry that this is the view you have to see it through. But I desperately need a car wash now after my last couple drives. <laughs> the drive to St. Pete and Arcadia, but here we go. We're going across the bridge onto Minnesota Key. There, that's a prettier view out my window, huh? 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 Ooh, I see the water and it looks beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, well this public beach is very quiet. Minnesota Beach. And then this is the pretty drive. If you've been with my channel for a long time, you've seen me do this drive before. My family also typically rents down in Inglewood. We used to do it every single summer. It's been a few summers because COVID last year and then this year my parents went to the Keys so they didn't rent down here. They just went to the Keys I think two weeks ago now. Um, so they didn't rent down here this summer but maybe next year we'll be back but Sarah and her family also always came down here and oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I love this drive. The bay is just to my left. The beach is just to my right. There's a lot of beautiful homes on this drive. Very pricey homes on this drive. Uh, some celebrities used to live on this part of the island. I believe Garth Brooks used to have a house out here. Sarah's parents have rented a house. Gonna go hang with them. Her brother might be there too which her brother actually graduated high school the same year as me. So her brother and I were in school together from preschool all the way until we graduated high school. Ooh, that one's pretty. Sarah was a year older than me, so I didn't meet her until high school. I just knew her as her brother's older sister up until high school. But yeah, so should be good times. I'll show you when we get there. But of course I gotta show you the beach pass. The beach pass is so beautiful, so I will stop filming for a bit and I'll show you when I get there. Again, sorry for my windshield, but I'll try to film out the side. This is one of the public beaches. I've always loved this little road. I feel like he didn't look at all. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think he looked at all to see if I was coming. So, there you go. Water looks gorgeous today. So this is Blind Pass Beach. Parking over to my left. Looks pretty busy actually, but it is a Friday, so. The good news is that we are gonna be on a private beach, so we don't have to worry about that. So, no public beach for us today. Going to the nice private part of the beach that you guys have seen me vlog many times before. So, I will catch you when we get there. What a terrible view for lunch. Just chill in the shade. Had a little hummus. Beautiful, this is the little house. So cute. 
love it. I think my camera got water blasted too. It seems a little cloudy. <laughs> right, well, you can actually hear me now because uh, it is so windy today, but we have our own little private pool. We're gonna enjoy the pool since the water is a little, a little rough out there. We'll do some swimming or wading. So hello, it is much later in the day. Obviously it is almost seven o'clock. I am heading home. This is not sunburn, this is just warm face. <laughs> we were outside for pretty much the whole day. It was just so beautiful out. It was super, super, super windy. So not really swimming weather. It was very windy. Um, we were kind of getting sandblasted on the beach, but it was beautiful. And just because it was so breezy, it was just lovely to be outside. So we stayed outside pretty much the whole time and it was lovely and I love her parents. Her mom and my mom were friends in high school, so I've known her parents forever. So, just very nice, very nice to see them. Um, and so now I'm driving home. It's their last night at the beach, so I didn't want to stay too late because I wanted to let them have family time for their last night. So they were ordering dinner from Mama's, which is our favorite Italian place on the island. But I wanted to let them have their family time for their final night. So. It was wonderful to be down at the beach. I actually kind of want to see if my parents want to rent that house in the future because it was lovely. And now I'm driving about an hour and a half back to Riverview and gonna grab some dinner with Mike and definitely have a shower. Looking forward to a shower. But it was such a good time hanging with my bestie of 20 plus years and catching up and being on the beach. I could do a beach day every single day. The beach is my place. I just absolutely love the beach and I'm so glad we're in Florida and can do that more often. So to Riverview we go. I am getting one last little trip through the island with my buggy windshield. <laughs> okay guys, so it is late Friday night. I came home, hung out with Mike, had some dinner. <laughs> That's the dogs letting me know that they are ready for bed. So I'm going to go take them out, go to bed, end this vlog, and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.